In this video tutorial, we'll teach you how to create and display clients on your website using the Clients slider item. First, let's log into our WordPress dashboard and find the Clients menu item from the main admin menu. Here we have already created five example clients. Let's create another one. To begin, click on the Add New button. Starting from the top, we see the title field. It will not be displayed on your page. You can name it as you please. Below, you can see that there is only one field. That is the link field. Type in your client's website address or social links. Moving on to the right side, we have categories. When adding the client's slider item inside the Muffin Builder, you can choose which category to display or not select anything to show all of them. The last field is the featured image. It is used to display the logo of your client. We suggest using a 150 by 75 pixels image for this. Okay, since we're all done, let's click Publish to save our work. Great, we now have six clients. To show them on any page, we need to use the Muffin Builder Clients item. We've already prepared a section on the home page where we want our clients to display. Let's edit this page. Once we're in the Muffin Builder, we can click Add Item. Since there are a lot of them, we'll use the search option. Typing in Clients shows us two items. The first one is the Clients slider item. This is the slider which we are interested in. The second one, named Clients list, will show all clients at once in a list. Since we're interested in the slider, we'll choose the Clients slider item. Let's edit it and browse through its options. Starting from the top, we see the title field. This will show on the website if you decide to fill it in. If you keep it blank, it will not display at all. We'll type in Clients for our title. The next option is the Category drop-down. Since we did not add any categories, the slider will show all of the clients. You can also order by Date, Menu Order, and Title, and set the order to be descending or ascending. For advanced users, further customization is easier with the Custom Class field. It can hold multiple classes separated with a space. Okay, since we're all done, let's update the page and see how this looks. Great! We can see our just created clients with the title. You can use the arrows to show next client logos, and if you have typed in a URL into the link field, you can click on that client and get redirected to his website. You can also enable Auto Slide, so the client's slider changes automatically. To do that, go to Theme Options, then click on Global and Sliders. Here you see a list of all slider items that B-Theme offers. The zero value means that the slider will not auto-slide. We'll type in 3000 in the client's slider field, which means that the slide duration will be 3 seconds, since the value is represented in milliseconds. Remember always to save changes. If we go to the home page, we can see that the slides change automatically. There is also a pause on hover option enabled by default. If you hover on the client's slider, the auto slide will not work until you move your cursor away from the item. Thanks for watching this video and remember that if you have any questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.